What are you gonna do today, Pierce? Are you gonna be hanging outside with us? You're gonna be comfortable with our friends, the sheeps? One of my passions as a chef is to not just cook the food and create the recipes or work with recipes and work with ingredients when they're kind of classified as ingredients, but currently I've been so inspired to learn more about the process of growing food, animal husbandry. I feel like it connects me to the overall story of uh, what it means to eat well, live well, and, and then of course sharing that with a community, sharing that with friends, with family, and, and with, with the world, really. Thanks for growing into such healthy looking creatures. Thanks for doing most of the hard work. Today on the farm we're going to work with three sheep and we're going to take them all the way through the process of live animal through the breakdown and butchery of the carcass and get it ready for sausage making. We're going to make a merguez sausage from the northwest region of Africa. I'm excited because I first had the sausage back in my 20s in the south of France. By creating the recipe here at home, not only do I get to relive that experience, but I get to share that experience with others. And that's such a big part of food for me. And there's sort of just a definite sense of care and consideration going into our work today, which I think is how food should be from square one. My friend Anna Borgman has been helping us with this butchery process as a professional butcher. And, and getting it from here, you'll get different fat and combining the back leg meat with the front leg. So we're ready to make our merguez sausage. We're gonna start with the large die on our grinder. Clean bus tub set up, ready to go. First load of meat filled in. That's our 10 pounds through the first pass with the coarse die. And this is in the 1.5 horsepower grinder. Had no problem with that. So I'm gonna remove the large die. Smaller grinding plate going on here. So this is our coarsely ground mutton coming up into the hopper. Last grind we make, last pass. This is about all we're gonna get out of this grinding batch. I'm gonna give this mixer the task of doing most of the work here. You can see how this is turning and just try and make, get it lined up with the gears on the inside. There it goes. We have our pen back here screwed in and our feet are level. So next up, we're just gonna feed that hopper with all of this ground. And I'm gonna dump the spice blend into the hopper and let the machine do the mixing. All right, mixing is done. Tilt this mixing bowl that way. Friend love this. Look at that, it makes it so easy. The seasoning blend looks like it's completely mixed in. You want to keep an eye out for any pockets of, of spices or herbs or any of our seasoning that for some reason didn't get fully incorporated. This looks pretty good. From here, you want to package into small one pound, two pound chubs or bags. That's a total option having it loose like this is perfect for making kebabs um, and for numerous other dishes when you want a loose sausage. I also want to try getting this linked and cased in sheep casings and so that's our next step. Hey Anna, hey. do you want to bring your the sheep casings over that you doctored up? Yes. So this is a neat experience. How did you get it from you know, when it came out of the animal to, I mean these look beautiful right now. So the mucous membrane is initially on the inside. Got it. Flip it, scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. Okay. And what was once stinky little intestines are these beautiful white casings. God, I'm in awe. I kind of am too. <laughs> High five, way to go. Thank you. Heck yeah. All right, there you go. And then you just thread it on there. 
All right, so I'm gonna pull out some of this. Okay, I'll start priming this chamber. Yeah, we got some good airflow out of there. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey. So this is a little bit of a dance between the person stuffing, if there's two people working this. Makes it a little easier, definitely. <laughs> yeah. You don't wanna to go too quick. You don't want to line up too much pressure. Oh, uh, we're a good. Bit of a that's gap. Right. Yeah, that's right. Cool. I mean, hey, for the first time doing this, this is, I am beyond pleased. First time that's doing beautiful. homemade intestine. Homemade like intestine. Home, home processed. Yeah, yeah. I call this a success. You got half tray going of merguez. The rest we're going to leave bulk. And, you know, I'm excited to fry this up into a paella to have a little nosh after we're, <laughs> we're done with the rest of the butchery. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be great. Yeah, nice work. Those are lovely. Thank you. <laughs>